Paperspace is a cloud computing company that provides cloud-based development tools and environments ranging from single users to enterprise-sized companies. We'll be focusing on the gaming portion of Paperspace in which they offer cloud PC rentals similar to maximum settings and air GPU at an hourly rate. We'll go into the details of Paperspace Gaming and show you how to get started with the platform. Let's get started. Now before we get started, let's take a look at their pricing. Their pricing starts at $0.45 cents per hour to $1.10 for higher-end machines. Now they do have more options once you log in. They also have a native Windows app so you can manipulate your account settings and use your cloud PCs with. We'll get more into this later. You do have to sign up with an account to see what they have to offer. Sign up with your Google account, GitHub account, or your email address to gain access. Make sure to check your email for account creation confirmation. Paperspace will want you to set up an account with your name and a username. It will then want you to select one of their products. Choose the core product. Then it will ask a little information about you. You should now end up here at your dashboard, which is your private workspace. Here you'll be able to create a cloud machine of your own. Now for gamers, it's recommended to use the third-party streaming app Parsec to game with. So when creating your machine, Paperspace has templates you can use to create different types of virtual machines. Paperspace recommends using their Parsec template to create your cloud machine to game through Parsec easily. We'll choose the Parsec template which includes the Windows operating system. Now you'll choose a machine type. I recommend a single GPU since you're the only one who'll be using this gaming rig at one time. Please note that not every tier of the GPU machines is available. For the ones that are available, you'll have access to the GPU Plus, which is using an NVIDIA Maxwell or GTX 900 series GPU. The P4000 is a Pascal or GTX 1000 series GPU. The RTX 4000 is a Turing or RTX 2000 series GPU. And the A4000 is an Ampere or RTX 3000 series GPU. I will choose the A4000 at 76 cents an hour. You can compare this to the power of an RTX 2070 or an RTX 3060. To choose any of the other locked tiers, you'll have to get your account approved to use them. Next, you'll choose the disk size for your machine. I'll choose 500 gigabytes. Disk sizes start at 100 gigabytes and goes to 2 terabytes, so choose wisely. I personally wouldn't go anything below 250 gigabytes if you plan to install multiple games. Next, you'll choose a region. They have three data centers. Choose the one closest to you. With the advanced options, you can give your machine a name, assign machine access to another paper space user, add your machine to a private network, add a public IP address, apply an auto shutdown, and enable an auto snapshot, which is a backup feature. Configure these additional options at your will. The cost will be the summary of how much your machine will cost per hour. This machine will cost about 80 cents an hour to run. You can enable monthly billing, but I doubt you'll want to pay the monthly fee at this rate, even though it's discounted. Please be aware that there are other fees attached to running this machine. Once you are done configuring your machine, hit the Create button. You'll have to add your credit card information so Paperspace can bill you at the first of the month. Now you will see your machine built in your Workspace Machines tab. Once it's done provisioning, you can start it. If you create more machines, they'll all be listed here. If you click on the machine you just created, you can see the details. You can also make changes to your machine from here, including adding snapshots, making a template for your machine, and viewing your machine history log. Hit the Open Desktop button to get into your machine. You can also open the desktop to the machine from the main machines page. Your machine desktop will open it in a browser window featuring a fully fledged Windows PC. Feel free to use the PC the way you would with any other Windows PC. Paperspace provides a client icon at the top right which acts as a client menu once clicked. You can manipulate the stream and your session with this. If you want to use the Paperspace app, go back to the Paperspace website and go to the download page to download the Windows app. Once installed, sign in with your Paperspace account to use the app the way you would on the Paperspace website. Whether you choose to use the website or the desktop app, log back into your machine and now would be a good time to set up Parsec for your game streaming. If you don't have Parsec on your personal PC, download it and install it. Create an account with Parsec if you don't have one. Now after you signed up and installed Parsec, log on to your local PC first. And once you are logged in locally, go back to your Paperspace machine. Parsec is already installed on that machine, so search it up in the Windows search bar and sign in. You'll have to verify this machine once you signed in through email. 
And once you do, sign in on your Paperspace machine one more time and that virtual PC will now be connected to your Parsec account. Now you can choose to close the browser window or the desktop app and connect through Parsec on your local PC. They also have their own client menu where you can manipulate the stream to your cloud PC. I recommend reading the documentation on how to use Parsec. One thing I did notice is that the machine resolution resets every time I log on to it, so I change the resolution every time I play. Now go ahead and download, install, and play the games you want to play on it. Now if you're a gamer who likes to use a controller, especially an Xbox controller, you'll need to install the correct drivers. Open a browser window and go to techspot.com which has the driver for the Xbox controllers. The full link is in the description. Download and install the executable. Then you'll need to restart your Paperspace machine. Once your machine has restarted, launch it again and you'll be set to go. Once finished, disconnect from Parsec and don't forget to shut down your machine from the website or through the app. Please remember this, especially if you didn't set an auto shutdown time. Even if you did, you should shut it down to avoid any additional charges. If you're looking to sign up, use the link in the description and receive $10 in credit to start with. There's plenty more to Paperspace, but this was a general overview of how to get started. If you like this Paperspace gaming walkthrough, give us a like and feel free to subscribe so you can get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you could do battle in gaming heaven, cloud gaming battle.